I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to Edmund W. Miles Middle School, morning news for May 21st, 2015. Our broadcast is coming to you from our studios on the second floor of the middle school. If you wish to participate in one of these broadcasts, please talk to your teacher about what you will need to participate. Library news. The yearbooks will be, in on, be, will be on Tuesday. Cost is $10. See Mrs. Cicero for details. Pickup begins after school on Tuesday. You may purchase at this time too. Robotics Club. Robotics Club will be canceled for today. We will meet again next Tuesday. A note from Nurse Bosch. It's that time of year to decide if you want to participate in sports next year. If you want to be in, sport, in a sport in the fall, you must have a physical. The doctor will be here for the boys on May 29th and the girls on June 10th. Get your paperwork from the nurse, fill it out, and get it back to her two days before the physical. Middle school softball team. The middle school softball, softball team won their game versus Copeg 8-7. Congratulations, let's do it again. Today's a red day, have a really great day. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Zyder and this is Nicholas Burton, ninth grader. We're here to tell you about the ninth grade dance, which is coming up on June 4th. Uh, it's gonna be from six to eight o'clock right here at EW Miles in the cafeteria. Tickets go on sale tomorrow after school uh, in the lobby, the main lobby. We'll be selling tickets, myself and a bunch of the ninth graders. We're very excited to bring you the dance. Um, we will have dinner for you. Um, there will be a DJ uh, and several of the ninth grade teachers uh, will be here to send you off um, your last big event before graduation to the high school. Um, tickets are $5. The $5 goes back into the ninth grade fund for all the events that you guys will do in 10th grade. Um, so it's very important that you help contribute. It is a semi-formal dance, so please no jeans, no hats, uh, no inappropriate clothing. Um, the one thing that you will need to do is get a permission slip from myself um, or Mrs. O'Rourke, which you can pick up uh, at any time um, during the school day. You'll bring that home, get your parents to sign off on it, and then you can bring that to us in the main lobby when you pay for your ticket. All right, so $5 and your permission slip signed. That gets you a ticket. Then you come and have a good time. And you get to see Nick do this. It's not unusual to be loved Good morning, everyone. May 29th, the Harlem Wizards are coming to Amityville to play against your favorite teachers, your favorite administrator, and some students. These guys are great. It's going to be an exceptional evening event at Amityville Memorial High School. Tickets are going fast. Make sure you purchase tickets. They will, all the money goes back to the students. So don't forget, buy your tickets. Harlem Wizards, great time to be had by all. Man show and I'm the they are great. Man and entertainment guys. Oh yeah, you know who I am. I'm the Swooper, aka Mr. Swoop. And that's right, I'm the funny, wacky, zany guy, guaranteed to make you laugh. You know it, baby. Hi, my name is King Arthur. I'm a ball handling wizard. I'm DP. I pretty much do it all. If you want tricks, I give you tricks. If you want dunks, I give you dunks. Most of all, I guarantee to make you smile. Good morning. My name is Brianna and I am reporting to you from Vocabulary Corner. The word of the week is succinct. Succinct is an adjective which helps to describe in detail a person, place, or thing. The definition of succinct is an expressed, in a few words, compressed into a small area. Synonyms are concise, short, brief, compressed. Antonyms are lengthy, long, and wordy. 
A sentence is when Mr. Gomez discusses and teaches a lesson on new verbs, he tries to be as succinct as possible so that students get plenty of independent work time. Memorial Day. Memorial Day, originally called Decoration Day, is a day of remembrance for those who have died in service of the United States of America. Memorial Day was born out of the Civil War and a desire to honor our dead. The day now remembers all of those that gave their lives for their country. Three teens were arrested today for defacing the Kensington Park War Memorial overnight. The destruction includes painted messages against the military and the war in the Middle East. The three teens were picked up in the early morning Where, hours after evidence was left at the scene. Grandpa, something wrong? Something wrong? Yeah. Some people sure have short memories, and those who are too young to know need to be taught. Come on, I, I want to show you guys something. to defy gravity. To honor my family, I lived in the belly of a beast. I fixed the hearts of iron monsters. I became a worm in the mud for dignity, for honor, for righteousness sake, for God and country. I fought for you. I fought for you. For you. I fought for you. I fought for you. I fought for you. I fought for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. I fought for you. I fought for you. I fought for you, and I do it again. A tribute to Maya Angelou. 
A literary voice revered globally for her poetic command and her commitment to civil rights died last year on May 28th. The 86-year-old was a novelist, actress, professor, singer, dancer, and activist. In 2010, President Barack Obama awarded her the Medal of Freedom, the country's highest civilian honor. The following video is a tribute to who she was. I don't know anyone who understands the power of words more than Maya Angelou. I've been in her home at a party, and someone telling a homophobic joke or making fun of someone in a derogatory way, and watched her invite them to leave or stop them in mid-sentence and say, not in my house, you won't. Words are things, I'm convinced. You must be careful about the words you use or the words you allow to be used in your house. In the Old Testament, we are told in Genesis that in the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. That's in Genesis. Words are things. You must be careful. Careful about calling people out of their names, using racial pejoratives and sexual pejoratives and all that ignorance. Don't do that. Someday we'll be able to measure the power of words. I think they are things. I think they get on the walls. They get in your wallpaper. They get in your rugs, in your upholstery, in your clothes, and finally into you. Hey, this is a famous report on SCPR, and this is the weekend weather. Friday, sunny and pl partly cloudy, high of 74. Saturday, mostly sunny, high of 67. Sunday, sunny and windy afternoon, high of 71. Have a great weekend. It's going to be a great one. If you wish to have a birthday announcement in this segment, fill out the sheet on Mr. Weber's door in room 207 and give it to him by Wednesday morning. Our birthday this week are Jordan Henry, Jack Jacqueline Reyes, Daniel Lutz, Kiani Alexander, Camis Tyson Cardona, Joseph Sabara, Angela Sutherland, Mario Green, Carlos Ponce, Deshaun Redfern, Ralphie Jerez. Happy birthday! <laughs>